Where have I been? Um, none of your business. <laughs> Where have I been? None of your business. Um, no, I've been away for a couple of days. Um, I decided to take the day, the days off mostly because it was my birthday. Um, I never celebrate my birthday. I really don't. I think celebrating your birthday over the age of 25 is legitimately R worded. Um, I have a theory and I think, you know, women in general, I think over enthusiastic, loving and very present parents. I think, um, Hispanic women, I think black women between the ages of like 19 and 20, 32. Um, I think of guys who try and cosplay like they're on love Island and stuff. I think, um, dudes who haven't grown up out of being in uni dorms. I think all those guys and above have ruined birthdays. They've ruined the sanctity of birthdays. Almost like, you know, the people that celebrate, you know, the people that do gender reveal parties, gender reveal party people have ruined parenthood, have ruined child raising, have ruined the sanctity of going to a gender reveal. They've turned it corny. Now no one cares about your gender reveal. No one cares about your kids. No one cares if you're pregnant. I know I don't, right? I don't give a flip and flip if you happen to be a woman and while you got pregnant, what a flip and shock. Oh my God, I shouldn't give you flowers and a box of chocolates. Who bloody cares? But all of those people have ruined these things that were once special. And I think birthdays are one of them. But I've always had this belief that birthdays should not be celebrated over the age of 25. I'm a big believer in things not having phases, not having an age limit, but some things do. And I think a hard and fast rule for every adult, for every person over the age of 25, is to rid yourself from celebrating your birthday. <clears throat> now, does that mean you shouldn't toast yourself a drink on your birthday? Of course not. Does that mean you shouldn't go out to your favorite bakery and get yourself a cake and eat that bad boy? Of course not. Does that mean you shouldn't go to your favorite restaurant, Hawksmoor, and get yourself a steak and chips and eat that and down a couple of glasses and then go to the bathroom and do a couple of bumps to the flipping waitresses and waiters? No, of course not. But what you shouldn't be doing over the age of 25 is having one of those big dumb badges on your flipping, you know, um, what you call it, shirt. You shouldn't be, you know, announcing that it's your birthday to the restaurant when you walk in, right? These are the things that you should not be doing. You should be leaving everybody alone. You should be not doing those type of things. But if you want to celebrate just as a as an occasion, as a flipping, as a day to remember, fair enough. I kind of did that because I took some time away and did my own thing. None of it is really interesting. None of it I'm probably going to share anyway because, you know, it's stuff that I do in my own private time. But I'm just reflecting on it in general. I was like, you know what? Birthdays are kind of lame in it, like by default. They only really work when you're under 25 because usually around that age, you're most likely still living at home. You're most likely still around all your friends, probably friends from primary school, secondary school, I'd imagine. I don't know why it's 25 is the age, but I think 25 is that magic number where people start to fall off. Maybe some people get, you know, depending on the area that you grew up in. I grew up in a rough area, so maybe some people get locked up, some people die, some people pass away in tragic circumstances, some people die by the, you know, live by the sword or live by the flipping, you know, by the borer, get killed by the borer. But in general, people kind of fall by the wayside after 25, full-time jobs, look after families. So it's hard to gather your friends. But under 25, it's flipping lit. Some of the best birthday parties I ever had in my life were under the age of 25. And I think they were extra good because at the time when I was coming up, that, that's when people started doing that annoying thing where they'd invite you to a really expensive restaurant and you'd be like broke as hell, but that's your friend. So you want to go and like, you know, celebrate their birthday and, you know, be there and whatever it may be. But you're flipping thinking, wow, I can only afford flipping, you know, starters. I might be able to get a starter and a tap water. That's it. And I'm tapped out, literally tapped out, right? Pun intended. So um, that's when I felt that trend kind of started. People started to go to like fancy restaurants for their birthdays. Well, I did the opposite because I started to think that people were purposely doing this fancy restaurant thing as a way to get a free meal. I would do the opposite. And I was lucky enough to have parents who were really generous in that regard when it came to birthdays. Not not well, not be, not not because it's my birthday, but more so because they wanted me to kind of look good in front of my friends type of thing. But I also think it's a good practice as well. So I remember back then my parents would give me like 50 pounds or something and tell me, hey, take your friends out to Nando's, put that behind the till. Now, don't get me wrong. 50 pounds now in Nando's takes you nowhere. 50 pounds in Nando's might get you a meal for one. Maybe, depending on like how big backed you are, right? But you can't really bust down 50 pounds in Nando's anymore. It's not that time. But back then you could. So you could put 50 pounds behind a bar, on a flipping cart, whatever, do, 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 get your friends to eat. And that was a thing. And obviously I'd mix in some of my own money from like selling shoes or whatever I was doing, right? So I had a bit of money there. And what I do, right? 
I would legitimately invite all my friends I used to go to church with and I'd flipping just take them out. It was my birthday, but I'd say, hey, come out to my birthday, meals on me, which then meant all your friends could come because there were some friends who probably didn't have money. Not even like they were broke. They literally, literally didn't have a penny to their name. And here you are taking them out for dinner on your flipping birthday. How amazing of a fucking deal was that? You get to hang out with your friends and you get a free meal. And I think back then, you know, people, it was easy to maybe get a refillable drink, right? Slip it in, mix a Fanta with a Coke, you know, get that little muddy, that little lean, muddy, muddy thing. You know what I mean? If you know, you know, right? A little muddy, a little muddy soft drink. You know what I mean? You think it was lean. So that was, that was one of the only times I can remember having a good birthday. And again, that was because I was around people that I knew for 10 plus years. I was, you're a bit of a naive, lack of responsibility time in your life. They matter a lot because it's all like, oh, my friends are recognizing me. People are giving me text messages. It's silly me. Right? But I think all that stuff becomes very lame, very G-A-Y over the age of 25. If you're one of those people as well, it's even worse when you're one of those people who goes on social media and almost announces it's your birthday as a way to kind of signal that, you know, it's like, hey, you should be have, wish me happy birthday. I was saying, hear me, hear me a second. I find a correlation between people who announces their birthday unannounced, <laughs> right, in order to garner birthday wishes in the same category. They're, they're, they're linked as a people online who have noticed this to be a trend now. Don't hear me out. Hear me out here. I've noticed this trend where people will go overboard showing pictures of their car getting broken into. And it's never a Toyota Corolla. It's never a Honda Accord. It's never a Nissan Micra. It's always like a really nice car. Oh, man, someone stole something from my car. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you love it. And it's some fucking Porsche. It's some BMW. It's some Bentley. It's some Jaguar. And, of course, the next slide is them taking to a shop the, the same day to get it fixed. It's back on road. They're standing in front of it. So clearly, it's not you like saying, hey, citizens of wherever I live, be careful. There's thieves around. No, it's you signaling, oh, look at me. I have a nice car and I can afford to get it fixed on the day. Same thing when it comes to flipping announcing your birthday. You're like, hey, give me birthday wishes, please. I'm an adult baby. Make me feel seen. Make me feel loved, please. I think it's pathetic. I think over the age of 25, you have so many things to worry about in your life. So many things you have to flip in you know, think about day to day, you shouldn't be worried about your birthday to that extent. Should you toast yourself like I do on most birthdays? I go to a local offie. Now I've got one in my area, which is flipping wild, right? I've got a local offie in my area where I found brown label magnums, magnum drinks, brown label magnum drinks, right? Brown label ones for $3.50 per bottle which to me is a bargain because there's another shop around the corner where I live where they sell them for $4.50 and other shops are $5.50. So I can get technically free of those bottles, you know, in and around £10, which is absolutely crazy, right? Because, you know, those things get twisted. Um, they don't give me the allergy things I usually get when I drink beer and other types of liquors. Um, obviously, they're full of sugar, so they're not good for the belly, not good for flipping Notting Hill Carnival flipping stomach, but we move. But regardless, um, I had a good one. I enjoyed it. I celebrated my whatever, my year still being around this flipping, you know, treasured flipping earth that we live in, spinning ball inside space, whatever it may be. Um, wherever, good, amazing, but I don't think it should go overboard. I think you should have some decorum. You should have some tact when you're over to 25 and just rein it in a bit. There's nothing more embarrassing than going to, you know, a restaurant somewhere and seeing somebody that clearly looks over 25 with a hat on, with a badge, with balloons and shit. Like, it's your, like who cares? Like, no one fucking cares. And, it's, and I also feel kind of upset for the people that get shamed not going to someone's birthday oh like somebody some girl put some tiktok together oh my god it was my birthday and none of my friends turned up yeah because they're busy because they've got stuff to do it's easy to double tap a post send you a quick message send you that flipping party hat you know emoji on instagram wherever it may be then it is to attend your flipping birthday and flipping hacking son we don't want to come we don't care about you that much no one should actually outside of your family and your close friends but people don't want that. That's the thing. Though. That's the thing. People actually don't want to celebrate their birthdays with a close friend. They just want to appear popular. They want to appear loved. But if you care about your birthday party, really, you wouldn't really, you wouldn't really care who comes outside of your core two to three, five, ten people. That'll be the ones you care about. But no, people want people want their Instagram followers to reflect their fucking real life birthday. As if I've got like on God, I've got like what nearly three thousand followers on Instagram. I barely use that shit. But let's say that's my, you know. That's my social capital. Cool. Safe. Of the 3,000, how many of those people would I even call to have a conversation with, let alone invite and say, hey, do you want to come to my birthday? Absolutely zero. That's what I'll tell you. Zero. 
because I don't care. Genuinely don't care. One of the main reasons why I flip and stop posting on Instagram and stop engaging with it because it almost forced you to like know things about people that you don't want to know. Like I'd rather just meet you in real life and you tell me your update. Oh shit, my kid did this. That girl I was with broke up with me. I've moved to this job. I'm in this country. Then I'm being like forced to know about your life. Like I don't care that you went to fucking Swindon. Don't give a fuck that you're in Prague. Like I don't. I do not care. Really don't. And I think birthdays are another example of people just forcing what they care about in your face. It's my birthday. Another year on this earth. It's my birthday. It's like, shut up. Shut up. If you have a national insurance number, you shouldn't be celebrating your birthday. That's the hard and fast rule. If you pay, if you pay your flipping telephone bill by a monthly direct debit, you shouldn't be celebrating your flipping birthday. That's simply it. If you have a, if you have hard sole shoes in your wardrobe that you have to wear sometimes three times a week, you shouldn't be celebrating your flipping birthday. Simple as that. Simple as that. Simple as that. I don't want to hear it from you. If you have a Tesco club card, if you have one of those Tesco club cards on your key ring or the mobile app, you shouldn't be celebrating your flipping birthday. Simple as that. I don't care what you say. It doesn't make any sense. People over 25 to celebrate their birthday are lame, um, uneducated, low-digit IQ people who probably deserve to be chucked into the nearest volcano. That's my stance, and I'm not going to budge for it. I'm not going to budge from it. Okay? Cool. Safe.